That's okay, we can handle it. Speed up time a little bit. Okay, so who wants to work in the coal hut? Who wants to work in the iron smelter? Oh, we don't have available villagers because I slowed down the speed. Hello everyone, Thranks is here and welcome back to Foundation, episode 3 of the Open Alpha Early Access. We've got Stonecutter, but you're not assigned. So these Stonecutters stone have moved over there just to have more to work on. Then you don't need to work here. Yeah, instead we'll we'll assign two people there. One more unemployed over here. Yeah, there you go. Berries unfulfilled. Cause we straight up need more of them, that's why. And there are not enough getting to market. Still got one person unemployed. Hmm. We doubled up our foraging. Village center. A small resource depot. That's it. Our growth is good. We just absolutely need three people working on those berries. Wheat farmers are taking care of the wheat, which is getting turned into flour. So really, we're just kind of sitting on G waiting for bakery. And we're not making the money because ah, we had to buy all these tools. Right, right. But we have them now, so now we should be able to go into a cell mode. We have another villager. That was our last unemployed, I believe. This lumber camp. I don't think you guys need to be assigned here just yet. Well... So we could. I bet we'd crank up the amount of wood we get if we started doing this. Let's see let's see who's faster, the lumberjacks or the foresters. We'll see who makes progress there. Roads going through the wheat farm. That's kind of cool. I guess so. I guess this section's going to get worn back, and then so will that one. So, really. We could push the farm back over this way a little bit. Looks like the road is going to wear some of it down. That's okay. It'll just be little paths through the wheat field. I actually think that's kind of neat. I like how the roads are just done by people walking. Let's make sure we're getting a steady increase in berries before we keep letting new villagers join. And they have kind of a trek back to go. They do have a bit of a walk. But this is the village center. We're not really... We're not nearly big enough to be able to support two villages. And they're going to have to travel from a territory away for some things. So I suppose that's to be expected. As long as they will, you know, they'll level up, they'll get better at it. Then that's fine. Still waiting on that 300 gold to get the bakery. Building complete house. We got a new house over here. Two new villagers. Great. The berry count is still sort of low. 
46 sold this week. Oof, they're just selling it like crazy. No shirts sold this week. None at all. I imagine they break down over time and have to be replaced, right? I would imagine. There's our 300. Let's pause before we lose it. Not the bread market. We want the bakery. Right here. Let's see. After that... Ah, uh, the church. That will likely have to be over here near the manor, I'm thinking. Like, right here, maybe? Or perhaps we should spread the wealth out and... Build it, like, here. And just really blow away the desirability and just make this whole area really awesome and then we can expand. Yeah. Woodcutter could not find resource available. Hmm. You can't get these or those or... Here, let's, let's just make sure that all of this is covered. Paint with a broad brush on this one. Nope, nope. I always right-click to exit out of that, and it doesn't doesn't work out that way. Unless they're talking about this lumberjack. Okay. All right. You think you can? You think you can hang? Let's let's see how you do. Let's get all of these trees aimed at being cut down against the forester, and you see who can keep up. Oh yeah, look at the wheat farmers. Making so much wheat, and of so much flour. Whoa. Ah, that's why the resource panel shows you more than, um, more than just that. So we actually have quite a bit of flour. Oh, we need that bakery up. This is a priority. Say we start looking at that church. No, we should make coal hut. Produce coal. Iron mine. Produce iron. Iron smelter. We need tools. Ooh, iron mine over here, you say? Right where we built the manor. Interesting. Okay, what about a coal hut? I guess that can just be anywhere. Oh yeah, they're just kind of burning wood. Oh, I see, I see. That takes a hundred. Still trying to sell off all of our excess resources. We did open up another trade. Buying wool and clothes. Yes. Clothes. Above 30, sell it. I mean, really, if... No, 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 no. I want the... Berries, stone, plank. No, I can't justify selling those. It's just these two cities. Nobody's buying, um... But nobody's buying wheat or our flour. Iron mine. Well, do we have the workers? Let's see. One, two, three. Okay. The windmill has two assigned. What about the bakery? One... Nobody left. And we don't have anybody at the bread market. Okay, but at least we're turning flour into bread. Oh, with water. Oh, well, maybe we need to build another well over here, huh? What about that? I'm about to get some new villagers here in just a moment. Excellent. Oh, they're not here yet. 
They're getting here. They're working on it. Whoa, look at them going to work making the iron. Wow, fast. Oh no! That is a huge issue. No confirmation to destroy the building and I got click happy. I'm so sorry about your house. Yeah, villagers upgrading their house, and a villager's building a new one. They're like, um, boss, can I just build that right back where I had it? Yes. Yes, you absolutely can and should. Gosh. Increasing the desirability of this zone, always a good thing. Maybe the church will go here, and then the city can also balloon back in this direction. We should get that started. No, 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 no. Coal hut. Whole hut. Followed by an iron smelter. Followed by a blacksmith. That's that's a terrain issue. Hold on. I'll get you right on the hill. Oh, that's going to look good. I have a good feeling about that. Now, to the church. We need... Let's slow this down. So life isn't just passing us by. Let's see the core. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. We'll have to get enough to buy the next territory. Or... Hold on, let's zoom out here. Yeah. Look. Oh, look. Oh, this is starting to look be really cool. And the roads and everything. I'm really feeling this game. Could do the church here. That might be a little close to the manor. We might want to give it its due to push the desirability in this direction. Let's take a look at the desirability footprint again. Sort of already have a big desirability here because of the bakery. We could just push the church here, and then we have the space to do it. Yes. So, made my decision. That's what we shall do. So it's going to be sort of right here. Ooh, big tower. No, big tower, yes. Small tower. That's not a tower if it's half underground, Thrinxes. Okay. We want we want lots of bells. We want it to be heard far and wide. You're gonna let me find a way to snap to match. Ooh. I don't think I should mess with it. No, I think that's there. Okay. Excellent. Now, what do we have? Also, we have a door. Yes, right here. And extension A. Ooh, round tower cross. Gargoyle. Where does that snap to? It snaps to certain areas. Oh, yeah, to the tower, huh? Um, not really to anything but the big tower, it looks like. And now it doesn't want to snap at all. Okay, fine. Stained glass. How about here? Um, oh, 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 no, 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 it's got to snap, right? Hmm, these snaps are a little finicky. Just gotta find where it snaps at and then do it that way. Gargoyle, decorative tree. I think we should throw a few of those down. Wall fountain, absolutely. I really like those. 
Maybe the cross will be over here. Extension A, extension B, round tower. Could keep going, although that looks like the end of the territory, to be fair. Perhaps what we need is for you to go away. You can be moved over there. That still looks good, right? Uh, that'll be okay. Then maybe, what, extension A looks like that, extension B looks like... Oh, it's all rounded. Oh, that's kind of neat. But why is it snapping? It's snapping weird. Yeah, see, that's sort of what you want there. So maybe something like this. See, that looks sort of neat. Maybe we raise it just a little bit so that it's in line with... Yeah, that's kind of cool, the way that, that juts in like that. And then over here we'll do extension A, which is going to be more like this. Look, it's actually pretty close to the, ma the manor after all. Oh, we might be going way out of control. I can't... <laughs> I make no apologies. It's so awesome. Oh, look at this. I feel like the manor has just been dwarfed. Officially. This is increasing the resources, too. <laughs> I don't care. Look at it. It's so impressive. I love it. I'm so happy with that. Um, did I get everything out that I wanted to get? I feel like I hit all of the, uh... Maybe not on that tower, but this one. Yes. Start construction. Oh my goodness. It's going to cost so much. That's okay. We can handle it. Speed up time a little bit. Okay, so who wants to work in the coal hut? Who wants to work in the iron smelter? Oh, we don't have available villagers because I slowed down the speed. It's okay. Oh, this is going to be grand. Now I want to upgrade the, the manor. Don't I get new pieces of... I guess you could just keep building extensions. Villager capacity 7. I don't understand that. I guess you can put people to work in the manor? They're not available yet. We're producing plenty of iron. Happiness? But all your needs are filled. Is there no good spot for you to build a home left? Ching! Okay, let's talk about this is happening now. Residential. I think you guys can just have at it. I should have bought this one. Okay. It's going to add to our taxes. Yeah, I, kn I know. Um, I want you to go away. There you go. Okay, so it seems like you just hold control and click it. So then what I'm going to do is similarly... We're going to go, all of this is an extraction zone, and also a residential, because look at all this desirability now down here because of the church. Although that area doesn't make sense, because that's like right up against the church. Uh, we, we can fine-tune it later. 
Let's extend the houses out this way as long as it's desirable. And then I think, just because I don't want to pigeonhole the game from giving us its creative little intersections and, and whatnot, let's, let's be very specific about the area the church has and see where it puts the homes. Probably should soften this up a bit. Yeah, we're not going to get any homes here. Probably no homes here. We'll, we'll wait and see. Okay, now there should be plenty of room for people to build their homes, upgrade stuff. We're getting the berries. There are more berries over here. There's more stone over here. But they're, yay, weekly profit of 500. Um, But our reward was what? It was supposed to be 100 of those little... Uh, king, that whatever that king picture was. So, yeah, now we're building a church. Fifty legions. I have a feeling we've yet to unlock those those things. Blacksmith. We'll put two people to work in the blacksmith and two people to work in the iron smelter. Yeah, let's see. guys seem to be doing good. You're doing all right. Church, decorative bush, decorative tree. Let's see, let's go decorative bush kind of here and here, why not? We'll put one over here by the baker, maybe one by the blacksmith. Probably some decorative trees. Maybe we'll put one a couple here next to these homes. Like this. Get it start looking all nice and like a village. Look at this. Got a little bit of industry over here. What is this? Oh, that's the iron. Mm, okay. I didn't even see that when I built the manor. Well, that's interesting. I wonder if... No, we can't move it now. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been goofy. I, I sort of expected that. I like having the resource panel up. I think I'm going to leave that one up here, and we'll leave the villager list up here. Yep, okay, so we're still looking at two unemployed. Lots of bread. We're starting to make iron ingots. You know what? Let's hold off on the immigration. Just a second. Okay, so it looks like one forester or one group of forest one one forester can absolutely keep up with the lumber camp. We're just overflowing with wood. And bread and clothing. So let's see if we can start selling bread, actually. Is anybody buying bread? says nobody is buying bread so I don't know what good it will do to list it for sale and we're making tools oh now we're making our own tools oh now we don't have to buy them anymore so I guess we just wait for the church to get built it's just going to take a little bit of time. Well, we can put the people that are unemployed to work. Yep, two extra stone cutters. Oh no, that's right. We determined that didn't do us any good. Because they just go back and forth anyways. Unless we did buy this one, we can build another stone cutter. In fact, I kind of think we should. We have the unemployed people. We might as well. You know what? Let's just make all of these woods go away, please. Thanks. Nope, those two. 
All right, and this well helped the baker, and it looked like it also increased desirability. Oh, look at that. Everybody wants to live in the center of town. I love it. Bridge. Say what? Hold on. Are there rivers? Maybe it's like a bridge across canyons? Oh, look at that. That just looks nice. Doesn't it? I love the village! Oh, and they're all upgrading their homes. Desirability high. House level 2. Well, we have to get the church built, really, before anything can change. And it looks like mostly we're waiting on the stone. We have the glass that's going to be required. It says villager capacity 31. I suppose we could send a few people off to build. Actually, there's no harm. We'll just make everybody builders for now, just to help out. Right? We don't even need a stone cutter camp down here. Oh, yeah, I guess we do, because there's a bunch of stone laying around. Look at everybody pitching in on the church now. That's right. Maybe we should keep, keep the immigrants coming in. Many hands make light work. Then we don't have anybody we can buy berries for. No more selling berries. Sell all of the wood that we have above 50. Oh, we're making so much money now. I need... You know what? We're going to also edit and upgrade the manor. We're going to make sure the church is a priority, actually, first. So let's... Oh, 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 no, no. <gasps> What's happening? Tell me I did not just really dork everything up. Okay, no clicking on the church. We'll, we'll mark it as a priority, but no clicking on it. Good night. I guess we could build another extension, right? Like... Like this, and then another treasury. See, that seems like that's getting sort of... samey. Gosh, did I mess the church up? Ah, don't click on it. Don't click on it. Is this... So I figured they'd give me more options. No, that's fine. We'll, we'll do that. We'll add an extension just to see if it increases the maximum amount of gold we can hold. No, about this church. I'm not sure what's going on. Seems just like a horrible bug. Monument effect on estates. Monument effects on estates, none. Hmm. We're just going to have to wait and see what happens with the church. Why are these homes not... Oh, because the builders are busy. They're like, because we're busy, boss! Hmm. I'm really worried I messed it up. Seems like an odd bug. 
we'll see. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt. They're still building it. They've still got they've still got quite a bit of building to go. Okay, so we're back. So it appears the issue where I had inadvertently clicked on the church and caused portions of the building to disappear inevitably made the game crash, or at least I surmise that that was the cause. So I reloaded an autosave, which really is what I should have done at the very beginning, at the first sight of trouble. Uh, but I reloaded an autosave so that we could come back to right before I did that, that thing to the church. I like that you can exit out of it without finalizing. So let's see at what point in the time this autosave sort of stopped. Uh, it looks like... So we didn't put this down here, but we can turn on immigration. Can mark that. I believe, in fact, we marked all of this. I think rather than build another stone cutter camp, we'll just put another person on it. And yeah, so now we're we're back and we got all our little decorative trees and flowers still. We are gonna make the church a priority, and then we are still going to assign a lot of Extra builders, which I guess I made them stone cutters, but that's fine. We're low on stone anyways. And with more immigrants moving in, we should have more builders here in just a moment. Oh, I almost... Ooh. Ooh, I almost clicked on the church uh, to see its progress. But I don't dare... No, instead we'll just make the uh, the next bunch of workers builders. Oh, look at this. So cool. Uh, I don't think we're going to make the church this episode, though. Looking at the time, that's going to be where we wrap things up, actually. So this has been Foundation, Episode 3. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've had a good time watching, because as always, I've had a good time playing. And yes, if you have had a good time watching, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. That way you can get notified when all my videos come out. But until then, take care.